Good evening. I'm Amy Cesara. And I'm Ashel Eldridge. And we're your anchors for tonight's breaking news. This just in. A storm hits the Caribbean and destroys Barbuda, pulls roofs off homes in Cuba. The United States does not send aid. In other news, disaster capitalists bid for contracts to repair cities from Hurricane Maria, Jose, and Irma, translating damages in peso and dollar. This just in. Another storm of unprecedented force has hit the island of Puerto Rico. Thousands displaced, no running water or electricity. In other news, the remains of actual historians have washed up post-Hurricane Harvey as Houstonians reclaimed their great-grandmother's narratives watered down after slavery reconstruction period. This just in. President Trump throws a roll of paper towels to a desperate crowd and says of the island that they need to take care of themselves. In other news, survivors claim copies of James Baldwin's Fire Next Time floated them to safety. This just in. Scientists agree that the effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels and warmer oceans, cause the severity of these storms. Ironically, days later, three children, the same name as the hurricanes, were found painting a mural on the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. This just in. Trump's border wall prototypes are complete. In other news, this same mural depicts Trump picking grapes, moments before Northern California erupted flickering flames. This just in. 210,000 gallons of oil have spilled from the Keystone XL pipeline in South Dakota. This weekend, the 45th president tweeted that 45 caliber handguns would be 45% off to honor the lives of recent mass shootings. This just in. In Canada, evidence has surfaced linking Alberta tar sands emissions to cancer-causing chemicals. Scientists predict that in 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. Geoengineering? or humanity's shadow lit as mist. When you're gonna take off that mask Let the water flow The collective consciousness is seeping into every home How we gonna empathize If we're stuck in our own world Underneath the ocean there's a heart that's waiting to be heard The water in the walls, water in the I wonder if it's true that tribes outside Peru hid oil from companies digging for gold, using magic. It's tragic that my brother Heyru learned that in prison. Maybe he's the magic hidden behind the walls, fueling us all. From schools to pipelines to free labor, the cognitive dissonance, his purpose floods our streets like cracking guns. Oh, the weeping our grandmother's bare hands again Bearing pain of tears like acid rain Singing wade in the water Holding the past and future in her hands Like Cobalt Congo kids Mining for electric cars and phones She says that there's a link between drought and spiritual destitution If they knew of our daily news conversations I might get fired But if they knew of her wisdom They too might pray with water Keep up this act, bearing so-called facts with straight faces. Though we should be outraged, we fan our own flames and wall out the truth. Truth is, I come from islands, colonized by this government I claim as citizen. I see history repeat, imperialism at its peak. While they try to build walls, we see through the cracks. So much is constructed to alienate. Travel bans, documents, and blockades. Despite decades of residence, my family is always branded immigrant. If your skin is a shade undesired or your tongue sings a different song, trust, you will be reminded you do not belong here. No sanctuary. This American dream cracks at the seams.